but the Labour people who you meet very regularly with, are they enthusiastic about this or do they say, oh, it'll be all right? Because they've just seen the front page of the independent newspaper two days ago saying, don't take anything for granted. And Keir seems to say that as often as he says, yes, get out there, we're going to win and we're going to restore Britain's faith in itself. I, I agree with Keir that we shouldn't take anything for granted. Uh, one of the worst political mornings of my life was the morning after the 92 election when I thought we would do uh, better uh, than... Uh, we did. I think what I, I'm fairly confident about is the government, the Conservative Party, are likely to lose the ne next ele election. But I don't think we have done uh, enough yet to uh, guarantee winning a significant majority that will enable us to give this country a decent uh, government. And we have to work on, on that and not uh, assume things. I, I also listened very carefully to what you were saying about the support within the La Labour Party for Keir. Yeah. We've got a very different Labour Party now uh, than we had three years ago. Uh, two reasons. One, some of the people who joined from uh, groups that had previously been outside the Labour Party have gone back into their uh, their groups and, and left. And some of the idealistic uh, young people who I'm delighted joined uh, the party, uh, they were burnt by the scale of the uh, defeat at the last general election. So I think they've become very realistic. And while they're... they're they are realistic, they're still idealistic, but they realise we can't get there in one uh, step. It was a big learning experience. So I think those people are still keen to get out on the doorstep, deliver leaflets enthusiastically for the Labour Party, but they don't expect quite the large leap they expected at the last general election. Uh, they are more prepared for a step-by-step sure. -step progress.